Welcome to AzureTeach.net. In this demo, we are going to develop .NET 6 minimal API endpoint with file upload functionality. We are going to test our changes using Postman. Before we start, please subscribe to AzureTeach.net channel for more videos on Azure and .NET. Here I am creating a new ASP.NET Core Web API project clicking on next and here I named my project as minimal API file upload clicking on next and here we are choosing .NET 6 and if you want to create a project as a minimal API you have to uncheck this. I am clicking on create. Here the project is created. If you don't know what a minimal API is, minimal API is a new way of developing APIs using .NET 6. If you see here, we don't have so many number of files that we generally see with a regular web API project. Here we have less number of files and also here in the program.cs, we don't even have a class declaration. So it will have the bare minimum code that is required for developing an API. I'm going to create a separate video on the basics of minimal APIs. For now, let us discuss about uploading file using minimal API. Here I am removing the boilerplate code related to the weather forecast. Now if you see this code is similar to the regular web API project startup.cs class. Now let us write a post method that accepts the file. So here I am writing app.map post and I am giving the route as file slash upload files and here we have to accept a parameter http request and the name of the parameter is request and after that lambda expression now let us write a validation a request dot form dot files dot any so it should be not so if there are no files we want to return return results dot bad request and we are returning a message at least one file is needed and after that here we can iterate over the file so here i'm writing where file in request dot form dot files and here we have to use using where stream is equal to new file stream and i want to save the files to c colon slash temp slash uploaded files and the file name should be the one that we can get from the uploaded file if you want to give a different file name that is up to you as we are going to create the file from the uploaded file here we have to give file mode dot create and here we have to give the slash as we are going to create the files inside the uploaded files folder and after that here we can use file dot copy to stream so here we are iterating over each file and from the file we are copying the stream to the stream and this code will take care of saving the file and from here let us return a success message return results dot ok file upload successful let us run this project it has opened the swagger ui though the swagger is by defaultly integrated with the minimal api it has limited support with the minimal api so if you see here we have the post method and we can't upload the files from here. So if you want to upload the files using the swagger itself, we have to add some more code to our project and I'm going to create a separate video on that later. And for now, let us test our code using the postman tool. Here I have opened the postman tool and we have to use the post method and here I'm pasting the URL and here inside the body we have to choose form data and i am giving the key as files you can give any name over here and here we have to choose this as file 
and here it shows the select files button i'm clicking on this and i'm selecting these two files clicking on open right now we don't have files inside this folder now let us click on the send button so we got the success response and the files has been created in that location if this video is helpful to you please like the video and also subscribe to azureteach.net Thank you.